Hello and welcome to the Change Gang Podcast with me, your host, Laura Ordeal. I'm here to help you hold on to your sanity and your soul as you move through big change. I'm here to guide you from frustration to flow in your life, bridging the practical and the woo just for you. Let's go. Welcome to the week, Change Gang. I have to share a very special something with you today. This is my 100th podcast episode with the Change Gang. How cool is that? How exciting is that? And it's going to be a very simple one. I know sometimes when you mark those moments, it's gonna, it should be something very wild and interesting and an extravaganza and all of that. But for me, I already had a little bit of an idea planned and it just happened to come out that it was this episode. Because this week in the United States, it is Thanksgiving. And so I just wanted to come on and share a few moments of gratitude with you to say thank you. And what better episode than the 100th episode to come on and say Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing these. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being a part of my journey. Thank you for being my clients and my friends. And thank you to all my teachers and mentors who bring me to a better place. And what can you find this week to be grateful for, to say thank you? One of my favorite little episodes or one of my favorite little exercises, I should say, is to say thank you as you're walking. Thank you as you're walking from the car to the store, from your chair to the bathroom, from wherever you are to wherever you're going to be. And just say thank you, thank you, thank you. And with each step, you will find something to be thankful for. Your mind will go looking for it as soon as you start saying those words. And it happens every time. And another wonderful side effect is that I think you will somehow, amazingly, find yourself smiling, which is so good for us to smile. It brings a different balance, different chemical balance into our body when we smile and laugh. And it changes the way our mind is moving forward. And so today, think about what you can be grateful for in your life, in the little things, in the things that show up every day. This might be a great week for you to be grateful for all of the fun discounts maybe that we get on Black Friday, although some people started Black Friday weeks ago. But I'm hoping it will still be a super fun Black Friday I love getting the discounts that show up then. It makes me feel wonderful. It makes me feel abundant and vibrant and all of those fun things. Because I get something that I needed or wanted, and I get it in a way that allows me to feel good about it. No guilt, no difficulty, no anything. Yay! I got a discount. I feel good. And I'm so grateful, too, that even if that discount isn't there... 99% of the time, I am still able to get what I need and want. Are there more things that I want out there? Absolutely. I expect to have them someday. I intend to have them someday. I pretty much believe I will have them someday. And so I'm grateful that I can even think that way, that my thoughts are so different today than they were years ago or even last year. My thoughts have changed in the last 18 months in ways I cannot even tell you about that. It just, it's like a switch flipped inside of me and said, I'm okay. I actually experienced something last night where I woke up and I was concerned about something. And I let it run around in my brain and it was like, "Ah, I really need to go back to sleep. It's the middle of the night. And I kind of had the worry kick in. And that frustration of, well, what do I do about it? How do I fix it? What do I need to do? And then I let it just journey around in there for a while, and it was keeping me away. And I haven't had that happen in a really long time. And so it shocked me. It surprised me. And I thought, okay, I I need to reset this and change this 
because I know I'm going to work it out one way or another. I don't know what that's going to look like yet, but I know that it's going to happen. And so I was able to kind of release and relax and at least fall back asleep for a little while. But before, I may have let that come back as soon as I woke up. The frustration, the worry, the concern. What if? What out? What if I don't have that happen? What do I do then? Should I just backpedal, backpedal, backpedal? No. None of that was there when I woke up because I made the decision in that moment, we're going to reset this. I explored all of that. I went down all those difficult roads and now I'm going to stop it and I'm going to go down a different road. And so when I woke up and I started down that different road, there was none of that worry, none of that difficulty that was there. And I'm so grateful that I'm able to do that now, that I don't live in anxiety or panic or worry or stress. That doesn't mean I don't have stress occasionally in my life, yes, but it doesn't take over and it doesn't cause the migraines that I used to get. It doesn't cause the difficulties in breathing that I would have. It doesn't cause all of those things. And so I'm very grateful for the shifts that I've had. And I'm very grateful that I've brought that to so many other people. So many of my clients tell me that now. Things are so different. Everything is different. Wow. How can I not be grateful to hear that from someone? And in my group, in the Change Gang group on Facebook, which you're absolutely invited to, come join me. I try to put something out there every week to find an intention to bring something better into our lives. And I'm so happy and grateful that people come along with me on that. And I get to push myself to think of new ways each week to encourage you, encourage my friends, encourage my group to come up with a way to adjust your thinking for the week, to move into a way to bring about health, wealth, and happiness, and all the bonuses that that brings. And so I am in gratitude this week for each of you. And I hope sincerely that you are in gratitude in some way for what's going on in your life. Even if you're in a difficult situation, I hope that you can find one thing. Maybe it's simply that you got to hear someone else like me today say, it'll get better. It can be better. There is hope. If that's what you can be grateful for today, Yay. That's wonderful. If it is that the sky is blue where you are today, that's great. If it's simply at the end of the day that you're grateful that the day is done, that's wonderful. So go out today and see what you can be grateful for this week and find the small joys in your life. And I hope that you will continue on this journey with me and that you will find useful, helpful, fun, interesting thing that I share on the podcast. And I hope that you're listening to the podcast on Thursdays too, where I'm talking about triumphing over trauma and the changes that come from that and the people and the experiences that that evolve around that discussion, because that is so life-changing. And I'm so grateful for being able to talk to people in that way and to help people to learn about it, to find hope, to find encouragement that you don't have to live with all of the things that come along with that trauma. You don't have to continue to live with that in your life. And I'm grateful for that. So to everyone out there, I hope you have a wonderful week. And to my amazing friends in America, happy Thanksgiving. And yes, there will be an episode on Thursday. So if you have the chance to listen to that, wonderful. And I hope that you find all kinds of things to be grateful for this week. I will hopefully meet you right here, same time next week. Ciao. I hope today's episode was interesting to you in some way and fun. If so, hey, find someone to share it with. Maybe they need to hear it too, or maybe they'll just enjoy it. If you'd like, go ahead and grab my tips on supercharging your success. It includes a free short meditation to do just that. You can find that at bit.ly slash supercharge your success. Until next time, happy day.